Well, we had a wonderful run with the joy of map painting before. But the Bob Ross streams are over and so shall that theme on it. Welcome back to the Trebizond achievement. We have to ascend to Empire rank. So a quick rundown of what happened before. We started out with Trebizond here. And yeah, things instantly look bad for you. You got the Ottomans and Kara wanting to demolish you. And Georgia had rivaled us despite the fact you start guaranteed by Georgia. So we did what was natural and no CB war Georgia, consumed the whole lot of them. And then our up till then ally Kirkasia, well, they had to get annihilated as well. Continued eating all around of us, and as we stand now, here is our empire. We have an alliance with Muscovy to the north. Astrakhan, Gizamaluk, and Kandar are our vassals. Of course, it's on a bit of a knife edge here, since if any of them get a little bit too powerful, they'll get support from Ottomans and or Kara. I think somebody else supported them before, it was Nagai supported uh, Kandar. Yeah, that wasn't so hot for us. Still, we've been demolishing everything that comes our way, and we're looking alright. We're sitting pretty at 183 development, but we need to get that up to 1,000 for the whole thing. Emotional Day says, hey Jake, how hard is World Conquest as Buraitia without exploits? That is such a daft question. I'm going to pretend I didn't even see it. So one of our main things we've been doing is exporting rebels. That's a nice little trick we've been using for this campaign getting enough uh, black stripes from the Armenians and then forcing the rebels out into Karakayunlu. This has uh, weakened Karakayunlu to the point where they've not really been wanting to fight us, whereas Kara would normally love to jump on Trebizond and vassalize them. I like to think we're currently too big to be a vassal. Yep, more than twice. Uh, so as we try to integrate I never get this name right. It's high time I actually learnt what it all is. Gazakum. No, forget that. In any case, they'll be wiped off the map before too long, so there's no need to even worry about it. We're clearing up the lands we just took in the Crimean region. Unfortunately, Crimea is allied to Ottomans, and the Ottomans is also allied with Shirvan, who is another potential target for us. So, blocked off in a lot of ways. Astrakhan is our vassal to the north, so we can't exactly punch through them. Lithuania is under union with Poland, and Poland is allied to France, and if not more frightening, Riga. So we're not touching that with an 8-foot barge pole until Lithuania becomes a little bit freer. Lithuania is actually very useful for us there as well, because we can also export rebels to them, and indeed probably will be. In, if the tooltip is to believe, about 3.5 years, and it'll probably be faster than that, since... Uh the unrest from religious tolerance is not counted until the first tick of the month, or at least it's not visible. So that leaves us a little short on targets. Karakayunlu would be nice to fight, but they have Oman and two vassals backing them up, so unless they had Muscovy helping me out or them dragged into another war, that would be painful. Again, Ottomans, they're going to call in too many friends, so let's not do that. But during our wars earlier, we picked up Biga, since it was owned by Genoa. And Genoa was getting, well, floored by Florence. And Florence, yeah, they didn't make themselves a lot of friends with that move, but not to the point that anyone's going to join a coalition. So that gave us something like 92% uh, war score on Genoa, since their capital was transferred to a province that we already had under siege. So, we grabbed Bigo while we're at it, and what does that mean? It means, hello, Blurple. I don't like your very existence. Now, the uh, clever thing to do would be to vassalize the buggers and get them all their cores back, since there is a lot of that. But I am not going to do that, because god, I can't stand the sight of them. So we'll just clean them off the map. We have another spare diplomat, and we have some Greek Orthodox land here that would look a lot better owned by us. So let's get on that. See? Nothing to it. And we'll just let time pass. Okay, what's the AI thinking? Hungary is not Ottoman's rival anymore. Is that because Hungary is too strong, or are the Ottomans... Hmm. Oh well. It's kind of a shame I need the Ottomans to have enemies everywhere around them so that I can pounce. Those cores for Kangdar are not going to reclaim themselves. Yeah, that also reminds me that I haven't embargoed any of my enemies here. 
Yeah, I can do that to uh, Kara Kiyunlu without too much worry because they have as much Cassus Belly as they're ever going to need on me anyway. So those Armenians, I don't like them, but they probably won't stand around in my land forever. Because they have cores on these other provinces, and those cores are never going to leave since it's Armenian culture. Protect Ederin? I think not. Make Mamluks like us? I think so. Yeah, that would actually be good if I had a spare diplomat, but I do not. I would also like to get some more points on the go. Speaking of which, we're struggling on the admin front, so let's invest in that. We already have enough to punch out military tech six as and when we need it. Alright, truce with Kandar is over, but there we go. Everyone is fairly loyal towards me, and I can dip it down. Actually, I should look to dip it down by this way at least. We're at the manpower cap anyway, so let's expand the army a little bit. And honestly, I don't know what we're paying it for. So we might as well expand a fair chunk. We may just need it. Dennis Wolf says, what culture are you? Greek? If so, will you culture shift? Now, we're discovered is what we are. We are point, uh, Pontic, which is quite a niche, uh, a niche culture, but it is part of the Greek culture group. So it means I'm not going to get many malices on these. I would like to eradicate Greek and replace it with Pontic, but uh, points are scarce. Also, how did I get... Ah, yes, I got an event giving me that claim. Probably won't be all that useful, but it might be. Thankfully, Karaman is allied with the Mamluks, which means if and when the Ottomans go for that. And look at that, they also have conquered Levant. The Ottomans are going to have quite a bit to chew off there. I think the Ottomans can win. If I'm almost certain the Ottomans can win. But it's going to weaken them to a degree. Speaking of getting weakened, this is what I do with my Rebs. Just throw them onto Kara. I do not mind constantly getting Separatism here because it... Uh, it gets a recent uprising, so what do I care? And all the while, autonomy is going down. Uh, to the point that I'm thinking of converting the province. Mm, nah, there's no need. Why would I even think that? Alright, troops, where are you going to go? Once you have a bit of morale, I'll throw you over there, because it's high time we destroyed Byzantium. We would also like to destroy the knights. We'll see what the situation is once our claims are finished. The PPD is asking what ideas we're going for. It's a bit of a no-brainer for me in this region. I will be going for religious. It is my favorite idea set after all, and, well, we are surrounded by wrong religion provinces that even if we were to get our patriarch authority up, uh, we've still got, uh, still got some tough times ahead if we want to take care of them. Okay, thankfully getting this lovely army has made our vassals that bit more loyal. Our claims are almost done. Can't say the same about the integration of you, though, but we need to wait for those cores before we can really start thinking about that. Yeah, on that note, I might as well get my maintenance back up a bit. Sure, it's going to be expensive, but that's why I stockpile money. Oh my. Just the time to get ourselves some new cavalry as well. Glorious times indeed. And we have our 100 traditional general. Isn't he a beauty? 225. More like too much to handle. And we have a fleet of 8 here. So we're going to make it the best it can be. You're in charge of it, my friend. Nobody is uh, mothballed. Let's see how it goes. What, Miltech are the Autos? The Autos are also Miltech 6, but I have a feeling they're not going to be far off 7. Okay, claims incoming. 10 days before we get our uh, diplomat back. Let's see what we can do with them. Alright, the Knights. You're probably allied with Venice. <sighs> Unfortunately, Venice will protect you. Does Venice have much of a fleet, though? I mean... 
the obvious answer would be yes, but maybe they got thrashed. They did not get thrashed to the degree that I needed them to. Venice was in a big war with most of the people around them, so there isn't much I can do about that. Such a shame when that opportunity slips by like that. But, fit kinemindi, as we say. Byzantium, on the other hand, you're allied with Serbia, and Serbia have no other friends, so we may as well get that other claim on the go. I don't think this war is going to be over in a heartbeat. So what we'll do is we'll get everyone over there. Alicious tempts me by saying you could just flip to Pontic, and then all your uh, sorry, flip to Sunni, and all your problems would be gone. Don't tempt me, Frodo. I want to remain the hipster sect of Christianity. I'll just send you guys up there. I want to avoid the month at sea, but yeah, I think I was too late for that. Yeah, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Don't know why there's been a surge in people asking if I'm going to play with mods. I still hold the same uh, stance on that as I always did. I'll play with mods when the base game gets dull to me, but it still isn't. Byzantus scum. It's high time you didn't exist. If you wanted hipster sect of Christianity, you wouldn't have chickened out and gone Coptic. The whole point of uh, throwing a missionary there was to incite more rebels. I had no intention of flipping to Coptic. What a shame for you, I guess. Okay, so we'll wait for the turn of the month to get every advantage we can. Excellent news. Austria rivaling the Ottomans. More enemies for them. Alright, so whilst we're still hemorrhaging money... Probably would be easier just to get access through uh, Venice. Okay, no one's going to help us out here, but I really want to make Serbia a co-belligerent. Let's have a quick look. I don't think Byzantium has much of a navy to speak of. Not at all. How about you, Serbia? Serbia have nothing to speak of. A few transports, but that's about it. We have enough cogs to destroy them. And your pathetic army, Byzantium, is in tatters. Serbia, well, I mean, you are the very definition of tatters, aren't you? Alright, that means I make Serbia co-belligerent, because I'm not scared of them at all. Downside is, it makes the other claim take quite a lot longer, but, you know, what are you going to do? We're black flagged, but not really, because we're on a boat, so being on a boat instantly overrides black flagging. Shout out to my guys back in the UK that know what real black flagging is. So, that'll be our, uh, well, I guess I only need one lad here to take care of this. The rest of you go and smash that pathetic army to pieces. Now the port for Ikea is over there, it still makes it faster than dropping in, I think. You know, that I can get some actual numbers on, but we'll wait for the turn of the month. Unfortunately, this fort is on a capital, however. What is also fortunate is that they don't have the money to really spend on it, so... I rather think they are going to die. And we're going to settle down here with just enough to lay siege to it. The rest of you hold out there. Why in the world are you going... Oh, I see, you're running away. It all makes sense now. Let's go. Why weren't Byzantine part of the Dark Age, Jake? Their cities burned too brightly. Your jokes are not going to get you free keys this time, but I do appreciate 
You trying to bring a smile to my face here? Alright, let's have a quick look. Am I actually quicker dropping you off or making a quick beachhead? So, you will arrive there on the 23rd of September. Well, forget that then. We're going to sail there and get there before the turn of the month. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling so good today. Oh, I'm not scared of them engaging me, even though I have transports filled with glorious troops here, because I have galleys, and galleys fight twice as good in this situation. Also, I really do not want to have to deal with peasants in... Yeah, that province. It's a shame they're peasants. If they were uh, any other kind, I'd be more than happy to see them. But no, we'll just chew that prestige loss. Hmm, and look at that liberty desire just melt away. It can melt away a, li a little bit more if I actually get my next dip tech. Lovely, because I think some of them had better dip tech than me. Yeah, Gizzy did. Kandar probably soon would. Okay, not really liking hanging around at sea when I don't have to, so let's get ourselves over to port. Now they probably have access... No, they don't have access to Venice. Well, Venice will be... Would be very nice to give us access just now. I don't think the Serbian army is going to stop us that much here. This will cost us a little bit of dip for a wee while, but that's alright. Hmm. Oh, of course, they're trying to blockade me. Not on my watch. It'd be as well just sending the galleys, but why not just send everything? Why the hell not, really? Still big enough and bigger. Actually, I've got one too many here. Send a single cog back to pick you up. I'm sure I won't get sniped. Hmm. Let's not. Let's not be daft. Let's take care of that navy first. Ah, I did something very foolish, running into Albanian mountains. But I believe in my luck. It's only a little bit of uh, damage, but it's not really worth taking, is it? No, we'll be fine. Just gotta believe. We'll be fine. Jake, you might not be able to take Serbian land because of, because of coring range. I have every confidence that I'll be able to take Serbian land. Don't you worry, girly. Okay, now where are you running to? You're probably going to run all the way back to your fort. The lovely thing is, I have access to everywhere except... Hold on, do I have access there? Sometimes... Let's see, it's a bit foolhardy to merge you all together, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just so I can leave a thousand down. And then grab you folks and have you heal up back in Achaea. And then we're going to hunt you down. Oh, of course, access through Venice. <laughs> okay, but he's probably going towards Bosnia. And I want to murderize him. And this is where having a five maneuver general can actually really help. No need to stress. I'm just going to coat this guy in a nice thick layer of... Now we should stray away from that one. Long and the short of it is, though, Serbia is now extremely dead. Jake, naval combat. I'm waiting for this naval combat, unless you mean there's some other... Thank you. Thank you kindly. Hmm, I don't normally have my army selected here. Get out. I don't care about you. No, really, thank you very much for pointing that out. Could have lost my trade fleet there. All three boats. A little dangerous having my uh, boats hang around here taking attrition for so long. That's okay. They're going to run over to Ragusa, and I'm going to destroy them there as well. 
And then he'll have nowhere to run and nowhere to... Oh my, I missed a spot. Capital. The rest of these guys may as well just loot Ragusa since it's fairly wealthy if memory serves. And it usually serves. Okay, they're gonna run back here. I got their number. Please rename Ragusa to Rag USA. Wonderful idea. Can't believe I hadn't thought of it before. Alright, so, all is fairly well. We don't need any Venetian military access anymore. So I don't need to be wasting my points there. But I do need 3,000 in total to siege down this province. Currently running a bit of an excess there, so... We'll dump the chump change. And get you on that case. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Only just enough, but that'll do. Oh, hold on. Brilliant opportunity to get a free bit of healing here. ka -ching. Very important to take note of where you're going to be at turns of months. Also very important not to let your enemy blockade you like this, but that's alright. We'll take care of that nasty little fleet before too long. Excellent news. My two worst enemies are going at each other's throats here. The Ottomans are going to win. That much is for certain. Karakiyunlu are two techs behind, and those two techs are fairly important. You might be wondering why. Well, tech 6 gives you military tactics, and that is just so good. Tech 7 is even more important, but Ottomans are not yet there. This could be an opportunity for me to jump on the Ottomans, but I have to bear in mind the limits of my mortal frame. Although it's rather nice to see that overextension is a thing of the past. Right, you folks, there's a uh, pathetic fort to siege down there. So get to it. Jake, will you free Epirus from filthy Venetians? It depends what you mean by free it. We probably don't have the same idea on that one. Okay, so I'm waiting for this. Wait, where are my boat? Ah. There's my fleet. Kind of torn here. I want to slay the Byzantine fleet, which is in my hometown. And I want to deal with the uh, Serbian fleet that's right here. We're already pegged in the Serbian fleet, so we'll just be ready for them. Should fall right about now. Pop. Out you come to play, and down you go. We're actually 1,000 units too few over here, but they can switch around if one of those uh, falls down. If you roll a natural 1, which is a 1 in 14 chance, or during a siege roll, you'll get a disease outbreak, which does 5% attrition damage to your entire stack, no matter what. That's a bit nasty, so we don't want that. That would be no good. Okay, so, sure enough, it's beyond our coring range. But only for now. Let's get some numbers on that, shall we? 190. But I am fairly confident Biga is close enough. And we're still waiting for Biga to core. I mean, if that to there is not enough, then that means this distance is more than 30. And I don't believe that for uh, a microsecond, as Hot Rod would say. Alright, so... Might as well uh, patch my fleet up a little bit before engaging with the Byzants. Hmm, Byzants. Sounds a lot like peasants. A coincidence? I think not. There's going to be plenty of people over there as it is. Let's get you on the case and get you... Uh, how's the loot situation? Okay, there's still a little bit to be looted there. Get our monthly tick of 10% repairing. Oh, my boat is called Anna. I miss you, Anna. 
I hope you are doing well. Let's move across. No sense spending unnecessary money on unnecessary forts in unnecessary parts of the world. Jake, how is Venice's war going? Are they getting smashed? Venice is no longer at war, which is unfortunate because it means they will now defend their friend the knights. I would love Venice to fall into another war. If the question is how is uh, Ottoman's war going on the other hand, eh, this, this little breakthrough here is meaningless. The Ottomans are going to win. Yes, the Ottomans are going to win. Miltek means a lot. Oh, Kara managed to pump up to five. Not as important as six, but they got it. There are other numbers worth keeping in mind when technology is here. Tech five, for example. There we go. It improves your uh, infantry by a fair bit. Of course, not that that really matters so much, since uh, you want to be using cavalry as a horde. Maybe nobody told Ak Kiyunlu that. Uh, sorry, Kara Kiyunlu. They got about 12,000 units to their name. Oh, the Ottomans. Overwhelming them. Still? Who knows? I don't. Yeah, I want to loot the hell out of Ragusa. Oh, right. I got more free diplomats here, don't I? I 